Take it to the top. To the top. Hello there. Welcome to Take It to the Top. This is the podcast that uh, has been kind of on hiatus for a couple of months. And I know that's kind of a no-no in podcasting. You have to be consistent. And uh, I was not. I was very inconsistent. And I apologize for that. This week on Take It to the Top, we're going to talk about top issues. Not of this year, because we don't have enough going on this year. It's only January as I record this. Unless you count the shutdown of the entire United States government. Otherwise, nothing's going on. But I didn't want to forget about last year. And I didn't want to forget about a certain shtick I used to do on radio, which was WGNA in Albany, New York, if you're listening from out of the area. We were part of a program called the uh, Sean and Richie Show. And my function on the air, I was the uh, co-host of the show. I have a keyboard or had a keyboard on the air, and I used to sing uh, whatever was going on in the news. And at the end of every single year, I always did a wrap-up. Now, this particular year, of course, I'm not on the air anymore, so I don't have as much of an incentive or, you know, there's no whip marks on my back to get the thing done. Um, But on Facebook, there were a couple of very nice people, Michelle Miller being one of them, one of the more devoted uh, people that we ever had on the radio. And she said, where's your where's your year end song? What's going on? And I felt bad. So I started to work on it and I did finish it. Now, this shtick goes way back to 1988 when I started on WGNA Radio. And uh, at the end of that year, I did the very first one. And I was determined to do one every single year afterwards. So I have, on recording, you know, on my computer, I have 29 of these things (laughs) for the 29 years that I was on the air. And I almost always, with the exception of maybe one year, I always use the same tune for some reason, well, I think I have a good reason. I used when Johnny comes marching home again, hurrah, because I was kind of picturing in my mind like a march. We're marching forward. Dun, 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 dun. So I've always used that tune. And let me give you a little bit of the one I did in 1988. Oh, yes, my friend, I'll say again, the time is marching on. 88 has met its fate and another year has gone. It's time for us to put into rhyme all the events that come to mind when we reflect on the year that's come and gone. Here's what happened, sound off, one, two, three. Mike Dukakis loses the race. We send NASA back into space. The heaviest man sheds his weight. So does Oprah, she looks great. Ron and Nancy check the stars. Elvis is living, that's very bizarre. Closing the beaches over the summer. Old syringes, what a bummer. The bakers say that all is well. Not if you ask the PTL. Oliver North tries to get off while we make friends with Gorbachev. And Mike and Robin are still the same. They'll never make the newlywed game. Say goodbye to my administration. Make way for a kind gentler nation. The year is gone and that is fine. We look forward to 89. Time is marching on. Time wow, is you can almost on. hear the excitement Time in my voice being on. on the air for the very first year. That was so exciting. It was always exciting to be on the radio. But anyway, that was the very first one I ever did. And for some of you who might have been born a little bit uh, after all of that, just, uh, you know, just to give you a little bit of a history lesson, it, it mentions Ron and Nancy. That would be the Reagans, Ronald Reagan and Nancy Reagan. Gorbachev who was kind of like the Putin of his time. He had the same position as Putin. He was the head of Russia. Uh, You had uh, Jim Baker, who was uh, the head of a group called the PTL, which was a religious organization. He was a TV evangelist who did uh, lots of nasty things and went to prison. You also uh, have the reference of a kinder, gentler nation, which was uh, what George H.W. Bush used to say, President Bush. So those are just some of the things that I mentioned there. Richie will be right back after a word from our sponsor, which is Richie. Are you getting married? Having an anniversary or retirement celebration? Are you planning a conference? Well, I can DJ it. I can also play keyboards for your cocktail hour. Even write a custom song for you. For testimonials, for ideas, go to my website at HireRichie.com. Can't remember it? Hit the jingle. H-I-R-E-R-I-C-H-I-E dot com. That's HireRitchie.com. So without further ado, let us now fast forward to 2018. I know I'm a little late with this one. 2018, I don't think it was the most positive year we've ever had. It was a lot of sad stuff that went on. Sad stuff in general, in pop culture, uh, politically, it was very sad. But I tried to cover everything and tried to make it a little bit lighthearted. So... Without further ado, again, this is my song. Same song. 
just change the words. Oh, yes, my friend, once again, time is marching on. It's 2019, and I hate to be mean, but I'm glad 18 is gone. Sorry you all had to wait. I've been kind of busy. This song is late, but let's reflect on the year that's come and gone. You guys ready? Let's do it. The Dow is up very high. Now you can kiss that goodbye. Trump appointees make their exit. UK rejecting Brexit. Fake news. Everyone's a liar. California is on fire. Harry marries a girl named Markle. Look at her finger. Watch it sparkle. Very busy in the courts. Michael Cohn, Manafort. Chaos in the White House. More each day. Kanye, what did you say? Poor Hawaii. False alarm throughout the land. Porn star Stormy. Who paid her 130 grand? Hmm. Me Too movement, big my friend. Cosby's getting three to ten. Louis C.K., my oh my, what did he do? TMI, that is one real big mob. Harassers who have lost their job. We won't see them anymore. With one exception, Kavanaugh. Big humanitarian crisis. Syria is fighting ISIS. Floods, heat, hurricanes. You still think there's no climate change? Trump meets Kim Jong. It's never been done before. He gets on Twitter. I just ended nuclear war. Cause I know more than the generals. Do we have Russian spies? Zuckerberg must testify. Bye bye, Roseanne. It's racism we can't stand. Mexico is paying for the wall? I never said that at all. Oh my god, so much confusion. Will we ever know if there's collusion? Cut the cable. Maybe so, I think it's time. Mrs. Maisel, watching Netflix and Amazon Prime. I can't get to them all, I fear. So many folks we lost this year. We lost Neil Simon, John McCain, The Bushes, Anthony Bourdain, Kate Spade, we lost too early, Penny from Laverne and Shirley, Burt Reynolds, what the heck? Aretha, she gets our respect. Margot Kidder, that's so sad. How about Michael Jackson's dad? Remember Topeka, Linda Brown, Jerry Van Dyke, no longer around. The Tree of Life, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High. All that we can say there is, why? Khashoggi from the Washington Post. We mourn all their losses from coast to coast. But thank the Lord that they saved all those kids from the Thailand cave. 2019 is already here. We're praying for a much better year. Time is marching on. Time is marching on. Hey, time is marching on. Time is marching on. Hey, time is marching on. Like I said, that was a rough one. That was a 2018. The wrap-up, can't wait to do next year's. That would make it 31 times I've done that song. <laughs> if you'd like to hear all of them, I should probably post every single one of them. Maybe it could be like a kind of a weird history lesson in a way. Now, I also did a video version as well. I did it as a slideshow type of a thing. And that is on my YouTube channel, which is under Richie Phillips. You can find that one and a slew of other ones that I've done, at least the audio of uh, stuff that I've done. Everybody tells you to do this, so I'm going to do the same thing. Please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button down here. Of course, you can't see me as I'm pointing. No, hit the subscribe button when you go on there, and I really would appreciate that. Also, if you could hit the subscribe button on my podcast, that would be great. And our, you've already found the podcast, so I don't have to tell you how to get to it. I'm going to keep this podcast very short and to the point. We're only running about eight minutes here, or eh, maybe nine minutes. The next podcast that I'm doing is I found a talent of a very different kind. It's the talent that a person has to look at a town and look at the development of the town and try to picture what the development would look like maybe 10 years down the road or five years down the road. And I think I found the guy. Well, I definitely found the guy. He's the former town and county supervisor of the town of Wilton, New York, which is in upstate New York. It's uh, very, very close to the city of Saratoga Springs. This guy took that town and just made it explode. It's a shopping mecca right now. And the revenue that comes from that area is just mind-boggling. I'm going to be talking with Roy McDonald on the next podcast. This is very local, but no matter where you live, you'll definitely appreciate what this man did and how he uh, had the foresight to even come up with the ideas that he came up with. That's on the next Take It to the Top. I really appreciate you listening. That's about it. So join me next time as I try as hard as I can to take it to the top, to the top. 
wait a minute, hold it, hold it, hold it. I forgot to mention if you're planning a private party or a wedding or you want to do an anniversary party or you're doing a conference and you'd like music and entertainment, I can do that for you. Just go to my website, which is www, of course, dot com. H-I-R-E. Eh, why spell it when you can sing it? H-I-R-E-R-I-C-H-I-E dot com. That's com.